The Green Bay Packers officially have a new defensive coordinator. Boston College coach Jeff Halfley is expected to become the new defensive coordinator of the Green Bay Packers. Halfley has brought Boston College to bowl eligibility in three of his four years. So in traditional Green Bay Packers fashion, they have hired a coach that was not leaked at all in the past week. We saw multiple leaks of interviews for defensive coordinator for the Green Bay Packers, such as Brandon Staley, Denard Wilson, Zach Orr, Christian Parker, and Aiden Durd. Uh, there was no reports of the Packers interviewing Jeff Halfley, and now we know that he is their choice for their next defensive coordinator. So in today's video, we're going to kind of break down his resume, some places he's coached, what type of defense he may bring to the Green Bay Packers. Let's get into it. Now going over Halfley's resume, he is a 44-year-old coach, so the Packers keeping it young for coaches matching Matt LaFleur at the same exact age. So both Matt LaFleur and Jeff Halfley, 44-year-old coaches in the NFL. Looking at his resume in terms of his coaching career, uh, we'll start at Rutgers in 2011 there. He was the defensive backs coach. Then he made a jump to the NFL where he was the assistant defensive back coach for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Then he became the full-time defensive backs coach for the Buccaneers in 2013. Then he moved to the Cleveland Browns for the same exact position from 2014 to 2015. Then the same thing in 2016 to 2018, he moved to the San Francisco 49ers. Then in 2019, he became the Ohio State co-defensive coordinator slash defensive backs coach. And then most recently, as it was mentioned, was the head coach of Boston College since 2020. Halfley then went 22 and 26 over his career at Boston College, likely just another defensive minded coach that tried to make the jump to head coach and it didn't work out. So the Packers now hiring him as their defensive coordinator where he can just focus on a defense. I quickly want to go over his stats when he was the co-defensive coordinator, which that was kind of the closest he's been to a full-time defensive coordinator when he was the co-defensive coordinator at Ohio State in 2019. This is how that defense did statistically. Scoring, they were fourth in the nation, only allowing 13.7 points per game. Total defense, they were first. They only allowed 260 yards per game. Pass defense, they were first, 156 yards per game. And rush defense, they were eighth at 104 yards per game. So although he wasn't the full-time defensive coordinator there, he was still part of that defensive staff. A very good defense in 2019. Now, I also wanted to go over something that a lot of you may be happy about. Jeff Halfley runs a lot of press coverage. He likes his defensive backs to press. And this is a thread here on Twitter kind of showcasing um, his philosophy on defense, why press coverage eliminates route tree, forces wide receivers to declare now, inside release equals slant dig post wide split, outside release equals go comeback wide split. And as you can see here, it's a picture of his presentation at Boston College showcasing why he likes press coverage. Now what the Packers will run schematically under Halfley, I'm not sure at this point. He did run a 4-3 base defense at Boston College. And when he worked under under Robert Sala in San Francisco. They also ran a 4-3. So the Packers very well could make a transition to the 4-3 base defense, but it doesn't matter as much more so what kind of concept defense they are running um, rather than base because most teams in the NFL don't run base that much anymore. And what I mean by concepts is this. Jeff Halfley's Boston College played cover one defense 43.1% of plays last season per PFF. That was the fifth most in the entire FBS. So it seems like Halfley Halfley's philosophy is to play aggressive defense, get up on the wide receivers, make them declare, and make a quarterback beat you. That's something that us Packers fans have been wanting from this defense, from Joe Barry, even back to Mike Pett and Dom Capers. We've wanted them to play aggressive man coverage, press coverage, not just worry about the big play and let everything underneath. Now, this was a defense he ran at Boston College. The college level is completely different from the NFL. So I'm hoping he takes what he learned from that and then brings it into the NFL and doesn't simply just try to replicate it from college to the NFL level. And if Halfley does run a lot of cover one, the Packers are really going to have to figure out a very solid safety option to be that one deep safety, whether they go out into free agency and sign Xavier McKinney, who was just recently with the New York Giants or Geno Stone with the Baltimore Ravens, they're going to have to figure out to have a solid piece back there if that's the defense Halfley wants to run. Overall, I'm happy with this hire. Halfley was part of a very good Ohio State defense. He has coaching experience in the NFL as a defensive back coach, and it seems like he's going to be bringing a mentality to have an aggressive style type of defense, a press man defense, something that us Packers fans have been asking for for a very long time. It's a young coach that tried his hand at head coach at the college level. It didn't work out. Now he reverts back to defensive coordinator, which is likely where he's at 
at his best. But I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think of this hire? I'm actually quite surprised the Packers got this done by the end of January. I thought it would go a week or two into February. And again, it, it, it's typical Packers fashion to hire someone that has not been leaked at all throughout the last week. But I'm going to be honest, my initial reaction here is I do like the hire. But that about does it for this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. And as always, go Pack Go.